So you have just captured an amazing video on your phone but you can't post it because of all that background noise and you really don't want to go through the process of first transferring it over to your PC and then editing it in Audacity or a similar software. Well don't worry we've got you covered. Hey guys this is Abhijit from Guiding Tech and in this video I'll show you how you can remove annoying background noise from your videos right on your Android device. So let's get right to it shall we? The first thing you need to do is install these three apps on your phone. You'll find the links in the description down below. Just pause the video for a second and get that out of the way. All set? Alright, let's see the next steps now. In order to remove background noise from the video, you'll first need to extract the audio track. You can do that by opening your video in the Video to MP3 Converter app. Just open the app, tap on the Large Video to Audio button. Give the app access to your internal storage and then choose the video you want to convert. In the following screen, make sure you select the MP3 format, change the bitrate of the audio if you wish to and then hit the convert button. The app will then take a couple of seconds to convert your video into an MP3 file. Once the video is converted, you can switch over to the Lexus audio editor where we'll get rid of that pesky background noise. Now select the audio file you just converted from within the video to mp3 folder and then tap on the three dot menu button in the top right corner. In the drop down menu, select effects and then scroll down to find the noise reduction option. Tap on it and in the following screen, tap on apply to add the effect to your audio. The default settings are good enough to remove most of the noise, but you can obviously play around with the settings to tweak the effect as per your preference. You can easily preview the changes by checking the box next to the preview option and then tapping on the play button. Once that's done, head back into the effects menu once again and select the compressor option. Play the preview to check how it sounds with the effect and adjust the settings till you are satisfied with the results. Now after applying the noise reduction and compressor, you will notice that the volume of the track has decreased substantially. So now you'll have to turn that up a bit so that it doesn't sound too muffled. To do that, head back to the effects menu and select the equalizer option. Here, adjust the slider next to the pre-amplifier and preview the sound by tapping on the play button. If you are satisfied with the volume gain, just tap on apply to save the changes. Now that we are done cleaning up the audio, we'll have to add it back to the video. And for that, we'll use KineMaster. But before you switch over to that app, just tap on the save button in the top toolbar to save the changes you've made to the audio. Then open up KineMaster, tap on the new project button and select the aspect ratio. And in the following screen, pick the original video by tapping on the media option within the selection wheel to the right. Once you have your video open, you'll need to mute the original audio so that it doesn't interfere with the edited audio track. To do so, tap on the video in the timeline, then tap on the loudspeaker icon in the settings menu. Here decrease the master volume to zero and hit the check button in the top right corner. Now in order to add the edited audio track, tap on the audio in the same wheel, scroll all the way down to the folders option and then choose the audio track we just edited. Tap on the play button to check if everything sounds fine and then export the new video by selecting the share button in the left toolbar. In the following menu, you'll be able to choose the resolution of the exported video along with the frame rate and once you have that in place, just hit export to save the video. And that's it, you have now successfully removed the background noise from your video. Well that wraps it up for this video, make sure you try out the process to check if it works and let us know if you face any issues in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more amazing tutorials like this. This is Abhijit signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.